Well, oh, let's see. Got it around here somewhere. Let's see. No, no, no. Here, just give me a moment. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, there's one. All right, cool. Um, hmm. um, ah, 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 there we go. Okay, so, <laughs> found them. <laughs> Guess where these are going? These, these, right here, these things, are going to GameStop today. Now, if, in case you guys haven't been following, which I don't really see how you couldn't be following, but, uh, yeah, these are going to GameStop. And i um, pretty sure anybody who is a fan of Bethesda games and a fan of, of this series in particular, I'm sure, I'm sure, that by now you guys have probably learned and probably can figure out exactly why there's so much ire towards Bethesda right now. But in case, just in case, you missed it. Bethesda as of a couple of weeks ago, released Fallout 76. Now, I myself do not own a copy of Fallout 76 because I myself kind of saw the warning signs like way back when the first trailer dropped. And then I watched uh, then I watched Bethesda's E3 press conference of this year, and all my fears just like just came careening at me like bad, bad news, bad news written all over it. Three years. But that's a work on this uh, on 76 for three years. And they were making a game that was essentially supposed to be a online survivor shooter. Um, survivor role-playing MMO hybrid thing that I guess was supposed to be like... That was supposed to be something along the lines of like Borderlands or something like that. Like it was supposed to play like Borderlands. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't. It is an unmitigated myriad of disasters. And I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. It, like, it, it, it took them eight years, eight years to make Fallout 4. It took them eight years to make Fallout 4. And you saw, you saw how much of a glitched out mess this game is. Little known, little known tidbit for you. I have not booted. This is the second copy of this game that I have ever owned. And both with this copy and the one and the one that I had before it, not a single damn time have I ever sat down to play this game has it not glitched the fuck out. Granted, not every single time it's glitched out, it's been terrible, but it has glitched every single Time, I have sat down to play Fallout 4, be it this disc or the disc that I owned beforehand. It has glitched out every single time. And you know what? I can also almost say the same thing about this. Hmm? So when the same company that took eight years to make this game, and then another, like, within that same time period, but maybe a couple of years later, it took them eight years to make this game... And they say that they released a game that is how much bigger than they did, did Todd Howard say it was? Like 16 times more the detail than this? And they made it in three years with that piece of shit engine? And you mean to tell me that they actually managed to make a game more stable or just as stable as this? Fuck you! No, they didn't. No, they didn't. They, they fooled us. They fooled all of us. They were like, brand new Fallout game. Oh shit, it's only been three years since the last one. Maybe they're actually getting better at this. No, no. If you actually thought that they had managed to make a game in three years that was 16 times more detailed than this thing... And you thought that it was going to come out as a stable, fully functional game? That is not stupidity. That is delusion. Like, you're delusioned. 
You're delusional. That's the word I was trying to say. And people bought it. And you know what the other warning sign was? Day one pre-order collector's editions and DLC. And like, day one pre-orders. Day one pre-orders. From the moment that very first teaser dropped, they were taking pre-orders. <laughs> and people bought it. People bought it because it had the word Fallout on it. It had the word Fallout on it, and people just bought into that shit like nobody's business. And Bethesda knew that you guys would do it. They knew. And they were right. You proved them right. But I can't be angry at you guys. I can't be angry at anybody who put money towards Fallout 76. I, I can't. I can't be upset with you because I get it. I understand. Like, I really, I do. And no, I'm serious. I do. I, I understand. Because it's, it's another Fallout game. Fallout. Little tidbit, because I know this is like... I know this is like one of my very first videos, if I even still have videos on my YouTube account. So nobody nobody on YouTube knows who I am. So just a little tidbit about me. Fallout 3 is my absolute all-time favorite video game. All-time. I love it to death. I haven't had a chance to... Uh, like I had to trade in my 360 for rent, so I had to trade that in as well. And... And I've just, I just, I just have not gotten around to getting another 360. So there's no point in me buying another version, another copy of Fallout 3, which sucks because I loved Fallout 3. It was great. It was the very first Bethesda game. It was the very first Fallout game that I ever played. And oh my God, what an eye opener it was! I was like, this is the Fallout franchise that everybody's been praising that I've missed out on all this time. That sucks. So I waited in eager anticipation for Fallout 4. And, you know, I've played way too many hours of this game to, like, ever claim that I hate it. And the fact that I still own it, the fact that I bought it twice just goes to show. I've got my problems with this game, sure. As far as I'm concerned, it's not a Fallout game. It's a third-person shooter that's set in the Fallout universe that has some of the same perks and whatnot, but it's not a Fallout game. If you want if you want if you want me to fully express in detail why I think Fallout 4 is not a Fallout game, then I'm I'm sorry, but I can't. I, I simply do not have the time in order to, or, or the funds necessary to buy a video capture card or whatever the appropriate equipment is, I don't have the, the money or the time to buy all that stuff and go into full detail as to why Fallout 4 is not a good Fallout game. It's a good game, I think, personally. I've put, like I said, I've put far too many hours into it to ever, uh, to ever claim otherwise. But if you want an in-depth analysis as to why as to why I personally feel that this is not a good Fallout game, then follow the links that I'm posting down below. It, it, there are three links, because there are three videos. Uh, each one takes you to a different video. Two videos were made by a YouTuber by the name of Joseph Anderson. If you've not watched his stuff yet, do yourself a favor. Go watch his stuff. The dude knows his shit when it comes to video game analysis and uh, uh, analytics <laughs> he he's very good at analyzing video games and he did two videos on fallout 4 both of which make up for an accumulative uh three and a half hours approximately and then there's a third video by a uh, youtuber who's no longer on youtube unfortunately uh one mr caption and somebody re-uploaded his video it's called like no Todds, no masters, something like that. An obvious job, uh, an obvious jab at Todd Howard, a deserving one at that. I should add, um, but that one, that one is about three hours long. Actually, yeah, it's a little bit over three hours. So if you've got the time, 
and you're just curious enough, like, I highly recommend watching those videos. They put into words so much better and so much more uh, clearly than I can and a lot more cohesively than I can as to why Fallout 4 is not a good Fallout game. It's maybe a good game, but it's not a good Fallout game. And I agree with them 100%. Fallout 3, I, I knew that Fallout 4 was going to be the game. I knew that this was going to be the game that was going to take Fallout 3's throne as my favorite game of all time. I knew it. I knew that when this game came out, I was going to love it. Well, guess what? I only kind of like it. But now, thanks to the shit that Bethesda's pulling, I have no reason to buy any more of their products. Seriously? Like, because... 76 being the broken mess that it is. They intentionally released it in its current condition. It's only been out for a couple of weeks. It's already marked at half off. You can't do that and not have it have been intentional. You can't release a game in, in a condition and then like, what was it, two days after the game was released, they released a patch that was almost just as big as the game's file itself a fifth what was it like 52 gigs something like that a 52 gig patch are you real oh my god man oh man i i swear to god i can't i i i feel like i've stepped into the twilight zone so with 76 in its bug riddled current self and Todd Howard came out not too long after and said it was either after or before one that's, I don't remember but he said that Starfield and Elder Scrolls 6 which are Bethesda's next two big titles one of which is a brand new IP and the other one obviously a sequel to Skyrim and he came out and said that that the creation engine was being used to make those games. The creation engine, which is currently responsible for 76. Well, maybe not responsible, but it was used to create 76. It was used to make Fallout 4. It was used to make Skyrim. Fallout 3 was buggy. Skyrim was buggier. Fallout 4 was buggier. 76... <laughs> I don't have to say it, do I? I thought for sure, moving on from Fallout 3, I thought for sure that I was going to pre-order every single Fallout game to ever come out afterwards. No. No. 76 took that and threw it out the window. I've already tweeted this to Bethesda and to the Fallout Twitter page that I'm done. I am absolutely done. They have lost a customer today. Today, November 29th, 2018. They have lost a customer. And it's not just because of 76. Like, 76 is bad. We can all agree to that. Like, okay, there are some people out there who are still defending it, which, if you're one of those people, hey, good. I'm glad that you found a way to enjoy the game. I really am. But stop defending Bethesda. Just stop it. Defending Bethesda is the entire reason why we have this latest controversy revolving around a fucking duffel bag. For those of you who don't know, because it is fairly new news, Bethesda, you know, when they were advertising the $200 collector's edition for 76 when they advertised this thing, they put up a promotional image of a map, a couple of figurines, a power armor helmet, which was pretty cool, not going to lie. I, I saw that and I was like, ooh, I kind of want that. So glad I didn't put the money into it now. But also, there was a duffel bag. And in fact, it was listed as the as the first item on that list. It was, was a duffel bag. A canvas 
I think West Tech is the name of the company that manufactured it. A canvas duffel bag. But, turns out, people are getting nylon bags instead. For those of you who don't know, nylon is a vastly cheaper and very much weaker material than canvas. It is a very, very lesser quality. You can buy a nylon duffel bag from Walmart for like maybe 10 bucks. Maybe. Canvas bag, you've got to pay a little bit more. And people paid more. People paid $200 for the helmet, for the duffel bag. And I guess there were some people out there who saw the map and they were just like, ooh, i got to have that. But let's be real. The helmet and the duffel bag were the, one, were the things that people looked at that collector's edition and they were like, give me, give me, I, I, I want it. Give it to me now. Here's, here, where's my wallet? <laughs> yeah. That's what people wanted. But Bethesda released nylon bags. Why did they release nylon bags? Well, they did so because it was a prototype, what was advertised. It was a prototype. And they realized after the advertisement had already been made that said prototype would be too expensive to, to mass produce. Too expensive. Bethesda, really? If you were an indie developer, you know, or a uh, just like a, just like a small time Kickstarter, okay, I could buy that. I could, I could buy that. You're not either of those things. You are a triple A video game development company, but the duffel bags. Too expensive to mass produce. Hey, I get it. I understand. Totally. I do. I mean, fuck. Why wouldn't you have enough money? How many times have you re-released Skyrim? How many times have you re-released Fallout 4? The microtransactions that you guys get from, from Fallout Shelter on both mobile and Nintendo Switch. You have a new version of Skyrim on the Switch. You know... This version, the special edition, you re -re you released this. You made two hundred dollar collectors editions of Fallout Four, uh, Fallout seventy six, and Fallout Four. I don't even remember how much how how expensive those collectors editions were. The Pip Boy edition, how much were those? Were those also two hundred? I there's something something that's telling me no, they weren't. But like, really. They're all that you guys couldn't afford to mass produce a limited run of canvas duffel bags. Fuck you, you're lying through your teeth. Don't even with that shit. And it doesn't even end there. It doesn't even end there. You want to know what else happens? You want to know what else happened? And this has happened. Like, this is not just some rumor going around. This has happened. A person emailed Bethesda's support team and said, Hey, I ordered a canvas bag. Why'd you send me an island bag? And Bethesda basically sent one back explaining that it was a prototype and that it was too expensive to mass produce the canvas. And, quote, we don't intend to do anything about it. I could be off by a couple of words there, but um, that's the basic gist of it. I think the only word there I got wrong was uh, uh, was uh, no, I'm pretty sure I got it all right. I could be wrong. I don't care. The fact of the matter is that Bethesda just flat out said yeah, it's nice that, it's nice that you didn't like the bag. Oh well, we're not doing anything about it. Fuck me, man. But it gets better. <laughs> it gets better. If you can believe this shit, it gets better. Bethesda flat out said, so, in order to make it up to you guys, 
<laughs> this is rich. In order to make it up to you guys, we uh, all you have to do is contact Bethesda support. We apologize for that guy who issued that statement. He doesn't work for us. What? <laughs> if he's a contracted like stand-in or what the fuck ever, they explained it on their Twitter page. Fallout explained it on their Twitter page. If he is not a Bethesda employee, why the fuck does he have access to your Twitter page? I miss something. I, I don't feel like... I feel like I've missed something. And, yeah, I, I may be mixing it up with something else, but they for real said that on their Fallout Twitter page that the that one of the people who sent out one of those shit-ass responses was a contracted something or other. He was not employed by Bethesda. The fuck you mean he wasn't employed by Bethesda? Who was he then? I... Anyway, so their way of making this up to you is contact Bethesda support desk. Contact the customer support desk. Provide proof of your uh, of your collector's edition purpose, and they will help you. They will help set up your account with five hundred atoms. You know the thing is, is that like I said, I haven't bought seventy six. I haven't played seventy six. I've put everything I've seen of it. No, like I know, I don't want anything to do with seventy six. Atoms, I knew exactly what those were right when they mentioned it. And I had never even, I did no research into this whatsoever, but I knew the moment that they said Atoms in that tweet, I knew exactly what they were. Because really, this whole microtransaction bullshit is just getting way too goddamn predictable at this point. Atoms are the in game currency for Fallout 76. And Bethesda's going to give you 500 of them because you didn't like the duffel bag. So what can 500 points get you? I don't know. I haven't looked into it. I can tell you this much, though. It ain't much. It's like maybe five things, maybe. I know you can... I think I, think I saw a dress that you can get for your character. You can get a dress. I think that was like 400 atoms, something like that. 500 atoms... In the marketplace, by the way, is five USD. Five US dollars. To make up for your $200 purchase that they falsely advertised to you, by the way, they're giving you five dollars. And it's not even five dollars that you could just use wherever, it's five dollars that you have to use inside Fallout 76. A game that nobody's playing. A game where there are reviewers who are flat out refusing to play the game anymore because it is soul-wrenching, because they hate it, because it is agonizing, etc., etc., etc. But you get 500 atoms. You know what that is? That's Bethesda trying to benefit from their own fuck-up. You know? Because... Five dollars you can just spend anywhere. The atoms you have to spend in. Uh, excuse me. You have to spend the atoms in seventy six. And because it's not enough atoms for you to get some of the cool shit, you have to. Uh, I guess you're just gonna have to buy some more <laughs> in order to get the good shit. But that's who are you trying to fool. This is the same shit that you pulled with the Creation Club. Where all the packs, where all the items were just just slightly too expensive for the basic purchase pack of your in-game currency. Fuck you. Twice now you tried to pull this shit. I have no further reason to play any more of Bethesda's shit games. Because... I have no reason to believe that Starfield isn't going to turn out to be a absolute glitched out disaster of a game just like 76. For all I know, 
Elder Scrolls 6 is going to turn out to be a glitched out disaster of a game as well. But here's the deal. Even if it turns out that these games are perfectly polished, like they work, I'm sorry. This broke it for me. I am not interested. I refuse to buy another Bethesda product. I have a whole shit ton of uh, Bethesda Funko Pops. I was going to collect all the Fallout ones. I was going to collect all of the... Uh, I was going to collect all the Fallout ones, all the Skyrim ones. Guess what's not happening anymore? I'm going to trade those in. The only exception being the Alduin one, which was given to me by a very, very dear friend. I have this big... The big Alduin Funko Pop, and I love him. He's awesome. And he was given to me by a very dear friend. I will not get rid of that one, but I'm, I am going to get rid of all the others. Because fuck, man. Like, Bethesda, if you don't care about your fan base, if you don't care about ripping people off, then I don't care about buying your product. Plain and simple. Fallout 3 is my favorite video game. Bar none. And it was the very first of your games that I ever played. And now, I regret ever picking it up. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. So, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go to GameStop. Get your shit together, Bethesda. Just get your shit together. Otherwise, there's gonna be more people like me that just that follow suit. Bye.